hello welcome back today we're going to cover the cost of having a me cfs and this is just my monthly cost and approximately as i am right now and i've been dreading doing this video because i knew it was going to be bad and you know how sometimes you eat like a crazy person and you don't want to count your calories you know you're doing wrong but you like I don't even want to know that's kind of how i have been with the cost of my disease i did this video for you guys but i was dreading it and finally i'm like i'm gonna do it so here we are this is just as i am right now and i'm just including a few things biggest cost for me is the oxford uh, peptide and it has been the best treatment that i have done for myself I kind of stop it for a little bit due to cost and you will understand why shortly but at the same time it gives me my life back allows me to work so it's kind of like a double-edged sword uh, you have to spend money to make money so I also have LDN LDN I buy it uh, with a special formulation I only have one compounding pharmacy near me and this is their cost $80 I don't have an option. I cannot go anywhere else. I used to get it for 40 half the price when Dr. N. Lander used to sell it, but um, I don't know what happened. I don't think they sell it anymore. I'll try again to try to find it because it's kind of half the price, but $80. So for ALC and ALA, CoQ10, liposomal vitamin C, um, that would be like, uh, you know, 20 plus like 35 or 36 and then another $37. I don't know how much I pay for my antiviral, but it, it wouldn't be much like 5 or 10. Um, and then I'm currently having B shots weekly at $40, which I average four weeks is $160. And then that only there uh, brings me up to a whooping total of and I forgot also if I add the other one that I add afterwards was the as I was doing the, the receipt here just so you see it I forgot natural killer cell activator and that's another 30 some more so that comes to a whooping seven hundred and three dollars currently that is not counting like my sleep medication because i was kind of debating kind of cfs maybe not so allergy medicine maybe not cfs related doesn't count for my orthostatic intolerance medicine so if i add all those that would be like another extra 50 dollars think something like that and you know not coming organic food having to buy natural shampoo deodorant soaps because the natural stuff adds up in cost a supermarket bill is quite much more than it used to be so if i could eat with a hundred dollar a week i would say now it's about 300 it's a lot of money and you know if I and then other times I do like D-rubose and L-glutamine and that will add up and at some point do you remember I was doing ozone at the same time the best combination was ozone and um, the peptide shot and especially because I think I have some oxygenation issue if you notice I will insert a little uh, video here when I was doing ozone and how dark um, my blood is it's almost brown or black and that is a sign of lack of oxygenation or oxidation when i would do it the treatment and you come back it was a really nice right bread and you can go back and see my ozone therapy video where you can see the before and the after i want to do it but that's just a lot of money and i want to save some money or have some money <laughs> I don't know how much money I make. I know that's crazy and weird. I have an idea of the neighborhood I am at, but I really don't know even how much I make I make because I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't work for money. I don't want to get bitter. Um, I 
you know my job is rough so i was like if i would be for the money i wouldn't do it so i do it for the love of what i do i, I don't even want to know my husband handles the finances and i don't even i know that's crazy that's also not counting my trips to the doctor because the cfs specialist is down in florida and i have to pay two flights to get there so at least five hundred dollars uh down and back and i have to pay the hotel which is 130 dollars 120 dollars a night and i have to stay for three days because i fly in tired next day the appointment and then next day i go out so uh, sorry two nights at least and the labs and the things that insurance doesn't cover and that's a once a year expense that i have not counting the sleep doctor, the, I think I mentioned chiropractor, but all the other stuff I have to pay and uh, I have to go once a year to the, actually twice a year to the orthostatic intolerance doctor. Sometimes they put it twice a year or at least once a year. And MRIs, I have had two in the head, three in the spine, and the copay of those is like a thousand dollars. And I had orthostatic intolerance testing. I don't remember how much was the copay for the tilt test table and the orthostatic intoler intolerance in Cleveland. It was like a $21,000. It's a long story. The insurance, I was in between insurance. So I got the bill. Then we fought it and then I ended up paying some money, but I don't remember how much I paid. Uh, but imagine a person without insurance, they cannot afford $21,000. So, oh my gosh, it adds up and it's just keep adding up and adding up. That is a lot of money. So I went, I saw this place that uh, you go when they do like a retreat and they reset your immune system, whatever, $10,000. And I was like, I can't afford that or I don't wanna afford it because it, it, it's just too much money. So the way i saw it and just so you see where i'm coming from my idea was i'm gonna spend as much money as i need to keep the job and be functional and have a life and my reasoning was eventually i'll get cured and then i didn't lose my job which is a good income that's kind of how i justified it every now and then i'm like i'm not even gonna buy the baptized shot or do this and i just you know this month or the past three months I just blew it on clothes and I was like you know what I'm not taking care of me of how I look how I feel because all my money goes to medicine and I'm tired off of it and I was like I'm just gonna get some clothes and look decent because I haven't looked decent in a long time you know uh, I apologize the the standard of how you must look is different where I come from versus here for here I look um, you know, you guys are more informal and you can wear less casual formal clothing, but you know, I come from a place where you kind of doll yourself up all the time and you go to the salon weekly and you know, the makeup and the hair and all that. I've never been too much into it, but I do like to be clean. I always like to have my hair looking clean and nice because I am into natural thing, even though you guys see me sometimes or most time with makeup, um, I like the natural look, which is kind of more expensive and more work because then you always have to be clean. You, your skin has to be spotless. So at the end, believe it or not, it's less work to do. <laughs> believe it or not, it's less work and less money to do makeup than to natural beauty, if that's the thing you know, like being very spotless, beautiful, naturally, that's a lot of money too. So anyways, so the one, the going back to the $10,000 thing, sorry, I'm all over the place today. I would, what I came to the conclusion is, okay, I can pay all this money, go and isolate myself in a place for two weeks and be in a Kumbaja state and eating great food or not eating i don't know what they do over there or i can do a fast which is free so the fastest way to reset the immune system is probably doing a three-day fast and you know there's studies out there and all that and it'll be the cheapest so 
I think I am trying to switch now and say instead of buying all these supplements and instead of buying all this stuff, do it the cheapest and the one thing I can control. So I think I'm gonna rely more on fast and try to do three day fast here and there if I can make it. Um, I haven't tried yet, I, I did my three water fast, but anyways, so what I, uh, sort of my three 24 hour fast. So anyways, I think I'm gonna use fasting as a tool just because it's free, it's cheaper, and there's studies that it work. It's not like you're going to a place you don't know if their protocol has studies you can go by and whatever. And I will try that and see. But right now is a lot of money and I don't know that everybody can afford that. So I just wonder, you know, if you do not work, what do you do? How can you get, you know, no matter what, you need a mitochondria cocktail. So it's different for each of us, but if you wanna be to any functioning state, you're gonna have to. So what does that look for a person that doesn't work? I cannot imagine. And also we don't get disability. So this, this is insane. This is a very, very expensive disease. And it's just sad. I didn't wanna put it out there. I didn't wanna like face it, even though I knew. And I'm sure everybody else knows also, but it's a topic that has to be discussed and we have to bring it to the forefront to see what can we do for those patients that cannot work what can we give them we need to spend money like they're so busy spending research on finding a cure and finding the cost and all this stuff in the meanwhile there's millions and millions of people and now with COVID-19 it'll be even more millions of people that have to get by on a day and what we need is some kind of quick research to see what is the most efficient cocktail and just get us through while you all research for a cure and research for what the cost is. Right now, we need to survive. Right now, we need to make it minute to minute and we need to make it month to month. And the only way to do that is with assistance. And instead of us spending all this money doing our own research and trying, let me try this, let me try that, um, it, it adds up, okay? And, and again, these numbers is not including all the crap I try and say, okay, this month, let me try this, let me try that. Like I was looking into intranasal uh, glutathione, glutathione, and I was looking into it because it's supposed to be good to have your immune system. Anyways, there's a lot of research that it will help CFS and all that stuff. So I was looking into it and that's another $50 a month. Do I wanna do that? Can I do that? So I think this is what we need as a community is some help in research on a good medicine that guys just for the meanwhile that it can help us make it through the day. Anyways, again, please, this is not to show off or say hey i can do it this is how much as but this has nothing to do with it i just want to bring focus to the issue that not everybody can afford all this stuff and there's millions and millions of people on need we need help we need research so anyways i hope this is helpful thank you so much for watching and rest well